Hey traders from around the world, what's going on? Holla your boy, it's me, Jeremy Alexander Newsom. You're probably thinking to yourself, not another excited Jeremy. Yep, it's gonna be another excited Jeremy. It is most indubitably Friday, the 14th of October, 2016. And today was an amazing, actually a historic day for one trader in particular. We'll be talking about that today, but there's a lot to look at and I am jazzed. So first and foremost, Dave Zamora had himself a 211-209 bull put spread expiring this Friday. That's about to expire worthless in eight minutes. Good job, sir. Well done. Well done. Uh, so the SPY, we got some interesting things to talk about here, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, as you guys know, I actually still do have the Mohawk wager. Uh, it's still out there. A lot of people thought I won. Nope. That's a very literal, a literal wager. I mentioned it had to be below 211 by the 1st of November. So the low of yesterday was 211.21. So yes, those traders in the uh, afternoon room and morning room are sticklers for details. <laughs> so yes, I am 22 cents off of that wager still. Likely might end up losing it. But here's what I'm looking at on the SPY. And I mentioned uh, um, overall that I totally am fine if we actually do get a bearish retest, right? I mentioned if we break out of here, if it traded back up to this level, this is actually where I'll be considering going bearish. So in regards to any kind of retest, uh, we really should not take out this particular high right here, 215.86. If we close above that, uh, we probably would just continue doing what we've been doing for a while, which is more bullish chopping around. Uh, if you're looking at the markets, probably one could consider a 212 November put, which is out of the money. Um, and that would take you over the elections and over uh, a lot of Fed stuff. And you know those, those options are not super expensive. They're about $3 a piece. And uh, realistically, if you're going there with a good risk mitigation strategy uh, that we've been talking about in the floors recently, that, that that could be a possibility. So anyway, this is the retest. I'm keeping my eyes out for some bearish moves in the market right now. But I had a trader saying, Jeremy, are you still bullish long term? Is this the top of the market? No, I do not think this is the top of the market from all the signals that I've been looking at. Uh, I think and I'm totally ready for a nice, healthy retracement just like we got. We could go down a little bit farther down into this 208, 209 level by the end of the year. And then from there, get a nice little bounce. I think that would be a beautiful, healthy retracement. And then I would like to see us continue higher. So that's the SPY overall for right now. Here's the Qs, not a lot going on with the Qs. Here's your daily chart on the Qs. And again, ladies and gentlemen, there's no denying this is a gorgeous morning star reversal on the Qs. So we have bounced off the 50 EMA before. Could we do it again? The answer, when we come back after these commercials, uh, the answer is yes, we could easily bounce again off of the 50. We've done it once on the queues. It can happen, right? This is a morning star reversal. In fact, it's a very nice one. And if we come in here to the hourly charts on the queues, you'll notice this morning was a really good bullish gap, right? Black candle gapping up, bullish gap and go. It ran very quickly on the hourly and on the daily chart. This was a retest gap, so we did retest. And from here, we could easily bounce. And that's kind of um, an expectation I'm keeping a very close eye on the queues. So we're going to have a lot of neutral strategies um, going into the next few weeks and coming into the election because really it's a big giant question mark. I have no idea what's going to happen. But directionally, there are some trades out there that we are playing and I'm pretty excited about those. Um, let's go ahead and look at some of them right now. And while we're doing that, I want to talk about a bank stock that's been having a lot of news recently. This is uh, Wells Fargo, ticker symbol WFC. And Wells Fargo had a lot of bearish news. Uh, I got to give a shout out to Latoya Smith. Ladies and gentlemen, a lot of you guys got to experience her analysis last week in the free trading room. If you have not signed up for the trading room, guys, get in. If for any other reason, just to see this lady trade. Latoya Smith is an absolute rock star. She is crushing it. Check out this day trading worksheet. So we are at right now. Oops, sorry, I went back. This week, we netted over approximately seven and a half R's, give or take, this week. So last week was the free week for everybody. We did pretty good. We had two R, pretty average week. This week, oh, I did again. Oh, geez. I got a new mouse and I had a new update and it's like, I'm, I'm still learning. I'm new. I'm new to the world. Let me see if, let me see if I can do this again. All right. I'm going to try to go back. Uh, day trade current month. Okay, here we go. Sorry. Sorry, I'm new to the world. Uh, so anyway, this is the beginning of the week. Um, Latoya on Monday, three R's. On Thursday, three R's. Uh, myself, I got two and a half R's today on BLUE. We're almost at 10 R's for the month. 
making October so far one of the most profitable months we've had in a while. Um, I mean, that month is only halfway over. So if you got a chance to enjoy last week, fantastic. If you got a chance to enjoy this week, however, congratulations. We absolutely crushed it, and I was really, really excited about that. So LaToya is a champion. Get in that room. Trade with her. Trade with us. It's amazing. She's going to be calling the open Monday morning. If that's right, after this weekend, it'll be Monday that she'll be taking those trades. Um, let me guys show you this trade on blue. I think you'll be proud of me. Latoya obviously can trade all day easy. No problem for her. But for me on blue, um, you guys can guess it. What we did today is we play this as a gap and go, right? Nice little double top pattern. Gorgeous white candles opening right on the 50 exponential moving average. And here's how I played it. Um, let me pull it up. And just so you guys don't think I'm exaggerating. Let me copy and paste this guy. All right, so we'll open that up. Um, oops, that's Ulta, sorry. Wrong one. Open this up. Again, I'm still new. All right, so there it was, BLUE. So this was the pre-market low right here. You had some bearish moves. I was looking for a retest and looking for it to roll over. That was the play. And here's your five-minute charts. And ladies and gentlemen, our entry was boop, right there. Right there, we got triggered in. Two R's, easy squeezy, lemon peasy on Bluebird Biotech with a nice bearish gap and go. That was exciting. The historic day I mentioned at the beginning of the video belongs to my good friend and trading partner and mentor and just excellent family man and husband, Johnny Guarco with ticker symbol URI. Ladies and gentlemen, I wouldn't believe it if I didn't know how he traded personally. Uh, United Rentals, this was a nice little gap we saw before the market was opening. Here's the support. Right, it was trapping this guy, it was trapping this guy with the lower wick right there. So it was black candle gapping down, so it was a retest gap, right? Here is the five minute chart, five minute time frame, and here's how I play it, ladies and gentlemen. I know you're gonna, you're gonna think, no way, it's impossible. <laughs> That's what I thought. Entry, here, stop, right here. That was his play. He nailed seven R's, just to close the market. Nailed seven R's on this trade exiting right here at the 100 simple moving average on the daily chart. Unbelievable. His greatest day trade to date. Uh, that is a phenomenal, phenomenal day trade. So Johnny Guarco, fantastic job, man. Absolutely very proud of you on United Rentals. Great, great day trade. One of those a month will really make your month. Uh, I mean, he already had some good wing trades yesterday and the day before that. But anyway, United Rentals, really good day trade. Okay, so enough of that. Let's talk about some other swing trades. What do we have out there? What are we looking at? Well, some of you might know that uh, we do have an Apple weekly option that got triggered in based on the weekly options newsletter that we posted on Tuesday. So yeah, that was Tuesday of this week. That did trigger yesterday, and we are up and locked in again on that today. So you are, ladies and gentlemen, you're absolutely correct. We got triggered in at $1.50 yesterday uh, and some traders exited at 250 today some traders exited at two some traders exited at uh, 180 wherever you exited uh, per the weekly options newsletter I mentioned if it wasn't um, up more than one R by the end of day Friday that I would just go ahead and take the profit off the table earnings um, coming up rather soon on Apple so yes ladies and gentlemen first trade on the weekly options newsletter womp, 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 was a loser this one though is a winner so i'm excited about that apple great trade for anyone who got a chance to take it locking in the games paying for this weekend going to atlanta for the beer festival with some of my buddies here in nashville tennessee so what next on apple well earnings coming up soon i still have a target of 130 potentially by the end of this year um i think it's going to get up there i just don't know exactly when i'm still in 120 january calls other than that, on AAPL, that's all I've got other than, of course, than just being long-term on this particular stock. Um, that's Apple. Nothing really new to report right now. Let's go look at Ulta. Ulta Salon and Cosmetics, ULTA. Was looking at fading this today. Didn't get triggered in. Um, and this particular move right here, ladies and gentlemen, is a very, very strong gap. Hugely, hugely strong. This is a nice little squeeze, nice little triangle pattern kind of thing. You have a white candle gapping up, so it is a retest gap. So expect something like this on ULTA. And for anyone who's looking to play it, buy that dip. My buddy Niels has a 245 put sale expiring on the 28th of October. Here's circuit symbol PGR, which was requested. PGR Progressive Corporation. Uh, looking at this trade, also has a really good gap. White candle gapping up on earnings, looking for the retest and then the bounce on Progressive. Obviously, don't know if that'll happen, but that's something that we can watch for. And then here's circuit symbol BX. This was requested by Mark Thomas. 
Blackstone group, and Blackstone right now is still trading down, trading down, trading down. Here's your weekly chart. And on Blackstone, what I'll be keeping my eyes on on this one is a bounce off of support. So it does appear that you have yourself a nice little channel of sorts brewing from about 23 to about 28. That's a large channel. So what I would likely expect it to do is probably trade down lower into about 23. So here's your daily chart on ticker symbol BX. Uh, oops, sorry, I'm going to close that. Here's BX and yep, looking for it to trade lower into approximately 23, 24. And then from there, at that point, I will be looking to buy the dip. So just kind of keep your eyes on that and, uh, and see what's happening. Other than that, ladies and gentlemen, there's going to be a new weekly options newsletter coming out next week. Make sure to subscribe for it. Again, this is going to be the last time I mention it, I promise. This particular deal is going away, gone. 149 per month for the weekly options newsletter, which you've already had a profitable trade on this week. The afternoon trading room and the morning trading room, which were up over almost 10 R's on the week for both of those. Even if you have a $50 R, you've I mean $50 R, you've already paid for the room for about four or five times. One day, eight hours, 55 minutes. Last time I'm bringing it up. Ladies and gentlemen, enjoy your weekend. I'm going to see you on Monday. Thanks so much for being a real life trader. Thank you for supporting us. Thank you for helping us enrich lives across the world. I'm very excited to get the opportunity to trade with Stephen King today. It came down all the way from Connecticut uh, to hang out with some traders down here and trade with me today and had dinner last night. So that was a fantastic experience. Ladies and gentlemen, you guys absolutely rock. Thank you. Have a great weekend. And until next time, love life, live life, and trade it. See you. Bye.